All right, today in the studio we have a toy from one of my good friends, Moldover, who's been with us on the show a couple times before. I'll pull those up in a second just so we can fully embarrass him. But this is a great little device that, um, well, let's just open it up. This is only here for propping it up so it looks nice. Okay, so what we have here is a modernized version of one of Moldover's earliest technological works of magic, which was a an album that was released with a light theremin built in. So let's take a look at that, the original, first. Uh, if you go to moldover.com and then click on the shop link, you'll find a number of his cool projects, including a DIY kit for uh, a USB version of the 4-track album, which comes with its own little PCB. Very cool. Uh, a thing called the Voice Crusher, which is a distortion engine for vocals or whatever else you want to feed into it. This other cool little PCB USB device for his 4-track album. And then also the original circuit board CD Light Theremin album. Here we go. So as you can see, the CD itself looks kind of like a circuit board, although it's not a functioning circuit board itself. But what it does have is a case that serves as a light theremin. How cool is that? It's got a little tiny speaker built in. You've got a little coin cell on there for it. Here's a little button and an audio out jack. And then you have the actual heart and soul of the device itself. We're going to take a close up look at that. And there's also in the top left corner there, you can barely see a light sensor, a photoresistor, which is providing the magic. Uh, there's also a little LED there in the middle. Super cool! You can get it for $40 and it has all the music on it. World famous circuit board CD, audio CD plus light theremin instrument, second edition, now in blue. You can listen to the music, you can watch the video. Uh, with a demo of the device. Check it out. This is all from all the way back in 2009. This was 11 years ago. I am not sorry for pulling this up. Amazing. Um, yeah, you might recognize this guy. He's been on the show a couple times before for the 8-bit boombox where he hacked a bunch of different video game controllers to be able to play music, including video game themes, audio hack them, and stuff out of this old school boombox. It was very cool. And then you get to see into the guts of it. Very exclusive and special. Um, also, if you go all the way back to 2016, you can see both of us with different weird haircuts demonstrating the Teensy Audio Library and its little demo board. That's ancient. Wow. It really is Throwback Thursday, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so, uh, you can also find him at moldover.bandcamp.com if you just want to hear the music. But let's take a closer look at this device, because that's what we're really here for, right? So here we have the device itself. You've got the Moldover logo on the back. It's signed. Ooh, <laughs> it's a double-sided PCB. I wonder when this is actually from. You've got the same little speaker on there, the same coin cell battery. You've got that light sensor, the photoresistor on there still. You do have a little USB stick attached, which has some music and videos and stuff on it. You've got another photoresistor. And then you have this any 556. So a uh, 556 is two 555 timers put together. And uh, what you get when you push the button is a little bit of noise and the LED turns on. And depending on the amount of light that you give it, it changes the pitch. Let's see what happens when we play with both of these. I'm going to put my microphone up close to it for a second so that we can actually hear. Kind of sounds like shredding on a tiny guitar, doesn't it? Cool. What a cute little device! Let's see what's on it. We've got the album. This is the... This is the debut album. We've got a live video from Future Everything, which I guess was a festival of some type. We've got bonus videos, an album preview, behind the scenes, something about the circuit board instrument itself. Ooh. Oh man, this is looking pretty promising. Look at that ancient logo. Wow, yeah! He didn't know I was gonna embarrass him like this on the video. We're just gonna roll with it. Oh yeah, showing the light there, man, to random people on the train. Cool. 
Okay, so Moldover actually built some really cool controllers and is sort of the founder of this movement called controllerism, where you build your own controllers for like music and MIDI and whatever. Uh, and one of the earlier ones is called the Mojo, this device that contains a huge number of like arcade buttons and different soft potentiometers and knobs and sliders, all kinds of good stuff. Actually, I guess that's three different kinds of pots, isn't it? You've got soft pots, sliders and knobs and those are all potentiometers or rheostats maybe uh probably potentiometers though look at us we're sitting on the floor playing with the mojo everything's fantastic it's like 2009 oh lucky we got a sweet overhead shot i promise i'm not just making fun of this it's actually kind of cool to see i think you can find a lot of these videos on the website so go check out moldover.com you can see all kinds of cool videos and weird musical gadgets happy throwback thursday and hack on Thank <laughs> you.